Hey. Welcome back to Cook with April on Tasty Tuesday. Sorry, we were on a mini break. I gave birth to Jacob, our second son. He is now a month old, and we're getting into the routine of things again. We sure right? are, yeah. Yeah, totally. so we wanted to celebrate with a delicious red velvet brownie Whoa. cheesecake. It's so good, you guys. I already tried it. Oh my gosh, you guys have to stay tuned and watch this. So here's the ingredients that you'll need. You'll need granulated white sugar, all-purpose flour, three eggs, you're gonna need two for the brownie, one for the cheesecake, cocoa powder, unsweetened, and then you'll need melted butter, red food coloring, vanilla extract, vinegar, salt, another measurement of sugar as well as vanilla extract for the cheesecake, and then eight ounces of cream cheese for the cheesecake. So let's get started. So before we begin, let's go ahead and preheat our oven at 350 degrees. So now we're gonna mix the melted butter into a large bowl. We're gonna mix that with the granulated white sugar. Now you're ready to add the vanilla extract. The distilled vinegar, the salt, the cocoa powder, and this requires a lot more mixing. Now we're going to add the food coloring. This is red food coloring. This is what makes it that beautiful red. And I'm going to use this entire container of red food coloring. I'm just going to gradually stir it in there. To make the brownie a little bit more vibrant and red, I added another container of red food coloring, but you can skip that. I mean, if you just want it to look slightly red, that's fine. Now you're ready to add the eggs. I'm doing it one at a time. Now you're ready to stir. Now, let's, oh, and now stir. Now you're ready to add the all-purpose white flour. I like to gradually add it. So you're going to keep a quarter cup of that batter and save that for later for putting on top of the cheesecake. So I just have it saved right here. And now you're ready to pour the rest of the batter into an 8x8 eight eight greased pan. So in another bowl you're going to place your cream cheese, the 8 ounces of cream cheese that has been in room temperature. If not, just like pop it in the microwave till it's slightly softened but not like completely softened. And then you're ready to mix it with the granulated white sugar and let's go ahead and mix. Then you're ready to add the vanilla extract and continue to mix. Last step is to add the egg and mix. So now you're ready to pour that cream cheese batter right on top of the red velvet brownie batter. Remember that quarter cup of the brownie 
we're gonna just drizzle it on top of the batter. But the thing is, it's thick, so it's kind of hard. But we're gonna keep trying, you guys. Doesn't matter, though. We're gonna just try and drizzle it. We're gonna try to make like a little swirl action happen. And I'm using a chopstick to kind of like scoop it out, you guys. So do you guys see how it looks like? So just grab whatever, like a knife, a spoon, and just kind of like make a swirl action. Do you guys see that? Look how pretty. It's gonna look so delightfully delicious and pretty. You see how like, ooh, you guys see that? I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, so like there's no signs to it. Just like try and kind of do a swirl action. I think I'm pretty much done, you know. So that's how it should look like, or kind of, sort of. And now you're ready to bake this at 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. All right, taste tester time. All right. You guys, I, one day Jacob's gonna be a taste tester like I Daddy know, and Liam. I know, right? <laughs> Look at how beautiful this oh, is. Oh, it's gorgeous. All, the swirl, you guys. Yes, that's perfection. Swirl. Oh, okay, I'm ready. I'm really excited. I got my milk. Describe how it looked. <laughs> Thank this? you. I love it too. It's so moist. The cheesecake is so fluffy. Yes. The brownie is incredibly moist. Oh yes. I have never had <laughs> a bite of like cheesecake and brownie at the same time. Yes. Amazing. This I is love really, it. Yeah, and the really cheesecake good. is not too sweet. Yeah, it right? isn't. I love that. If you guys notice, that's always one of my comments is I don't like super sweet cheesecake or super sweet desserts, and this is perfect. Oh, like, I love it. And Pinterest worthy. I think it's Pinterest worthy. What do you guys think? Oh, absolutely, because that's where we found it, you guys. Mm -hmm. And then the original was all recipes, so I will link the all recipes uh, below where I found oh, it. And I hope that you guys give it a try. I love taste testing like recipes I find on Pinterest. So if it is a recipe that I find, I'll link it below mm -hmm. for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and there will be more. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe to Cook with April. We also vlog on April Justin TV and I talk makeup on April Athena 7. I'll link all my channels below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.